Good day, Gordon Pilcher here with another episode of Transport Fever 2. Might have a click resume on it, might not. There we can go. We actually started to build a new whole new map. But this time I'm concentrating on the aesthetics of the map. As you can see there's a lot of activity. Mind you, there's only three lines connected at this stage. There's a lot of activity going on here at the moment. The car parking just here, and the buses are running on at this end of the map. And I, I just what I have done, I've just zoomed in here a second, and um, I'll get some better angles for you without me moving the mouse around too much. Well, what I did is I kicked it off in 1950 and um, I've set the, the clock is still in pause mode at the moment. I'll release it to go at quarter speed. That way it gives me plenty of time to dress up some of these areas. If you have a look down here we've got a, a little park with a tennis court. Except these dudes haven't got any tennis rackets. They don't see them winning rumbles and like that. That guy's dressed in high vis for some reason. Got, got trampolines and slides and climbing stuff. A little picnic table there. And this woman must have a real urge. She stood there for hours now, waiting to get in. You know, it's because of the lock door. Anyway, we, we, we have a public toilet. The ridge of this road ran straight across from there to there, but to get all this stuff in. Um, we've got a junction, I, uh, yeah, I've got a junction, but I, um, depot with a fake train running backwards and forwards just in case we ever want to look over here and a few others just sitting there looking pretty um what did up this end for this town flattened it out as best i could i might just give that a bit more of a flat note don't think that's quite flat in there that's better Created it like a yeah, uh, that's more a tenement housing type of state. We just have a look to see what's where. There's a big residential area that doesn't show as residential because they're plopper balls and they will spawn populations. So we've got our commercial area there, our industrial area there, and a very deliberate commercial area here. I just noticed it's starting to spawn. Um, residential. I have to keep an eye on that. It's actually a different town, so like a like a suburb. Um, but basically, at this stage, all I've done is uh, I've got to fix this up. Looks a bit. I've set up three towns, which our trains are travelling back and forth between. Still got I've still got a lot to do on it, but it's ju I just thought I'd drop in while I was sitting at that level and uh, as I mean this needs a bit of a I do that up we don't look looking like asphalt on the end look there's a dirt one there Yeah, you know what? Just paint that with a bit of dirt. With a dirty look. Oh, that might get brush a bit smaller. And then what I'll do is just random trees. Increase the brush size there. And give it a wipe over. I suppose I could drop plonk a few rocks in there too while I'm doing it, couldn't I? 
Dropping those rocks on it sort of gives it a um oh. Oh, what am I doing? That's not what I want. I've lost the rocks. Somebody stole me rocks. There they are. So it almost looks like it's post volcanic, doesn't it? The rocks really want to have a bit more red colour to them, but anyway, he's going to get all hissy over that. We'll chuck a few more trees on the top here, across there. I was going to um, put a slope on that, and I thought, no, I'll leave it because I can dress it up as time goes by and just come back in every now and again and as my fancy takes me over here and chuck on a few more trees make that a bit bigger that's basically this is more what I'm aiming at is on this map is the aesthetics of the whole thing and uh, we've got plenty of train transport traffic at the moment and um, I'm not going to hold you just make this very short and so we can see where things are starting um, like I said, we had the little park there. Oh, that's what I meant to point out, was down here. Um, threw in a few of those things here at the end of these um, tenement houses. Also threw in a church here. And every now and again that thing is, goes gong, 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 very traditional. I don't think of a name for it. Actually, there's several churches now we've got. I, I'm not sure that I actually loaded all the mods in, so which actually, uh, if you're back in the 50s, it's adding some real, you know, it's actually it's more of a cathedral than a church. Um, so it's adding a bit more re realism. Like if you're on, say, that bus, Jump on the bus for a second. No, that's not jumping on the bus, you clown. You moron, get on the bus! Now, if you notice, I managed to get back to that left hand drive stuff, and that wasn't what was causing all my glitches. Those glitches are actually caused by. Well, I had a glitch in the line there. That's why I did a, a very abrupt U turn. Colour is he? Ah, oh, okay. That's weird, sort of thing. He's supposed to go from there to there, and, and um, he's decided he's doing something completely different. Some of you know, some of these bus drivers are foreign, foreign imports. Uh, illegal aliens come to drive our buses. Anyway, um, so. Yeah, yeah, there's the church bell. And what it does by flipping the roads, going to um, the right hand drive vehicles, you get notice it'll go through the, these bus terminals backwards. Normally you come around and go out this side, but um, I actually quite like this because. Um, now you've already got a full load. What do you get going? I'm an idiot. He's doing a right proper job. Proper good. He's making sure he's a little bustle for Oh, let's go now. Go around here. And we'll drive past. 
class size timber. Um, he has his, which is a very British. Not that I ever mean to Britain. I've just seen him on TV a few times. When I've watched TV a few times. We have a look, we'll, we'll have a note. We're not driving down there, we're just going to look. We don't want to look at here. Very posh. Even got little backyards. Let's see what we got here. Oh, she's got a lot She's had enough. She lives long in Timon now. You had to get off so we can get one of these ones on. Okay, pull her up. Slam on there. Just chuck out the picks. Okay, hold the hip right off. And then the hip right off. Very interesting. I'm quite tickled with this. He 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 I'm tickled. Some British bus or something, but I'm not sure that I actually, when I was writing the map, that I actually clicked them on or not. Well, I wonder what I may not have. So we were a little bit confused. British scenery and the British road and some sort of foreign. Oh, well, there's our little train that just goes back to East. Actually, it's the train mechanics working on doing a. Um, Test on him, make sure he works fine. He just goes back and forth, back and forth until he's clocked up with enough mileage. Well, it could be where they train new drivers. You know, train drivers, I don't know. I haven't sort of looked into that one explicitly yet. Get off that pedestrian. Oh, that's right. Walk ankle shin deep in the footpath. In those cases, they sink down. I don't know where they have. just got skinny legs that sink through concrete. He's a real happy looking dude, isn't he? Real happy. Not sure about this. I think this one here is just to give us a look around the neighbourhood, you know. Oh. What year am I in? Some pretty big fancy buildings. Both compared to the town where I grew up, that's a big town. I mean, I was about eight, you know, back in the day, in my day in my town, it had, this year it would have had a whole, probably 2,000 people. And then we thought that was overpopulated. The doors would normally open on the right hand side of the bus. Just curious, there's a number plate back in front. I can't tell. Now they're riding on that plate around the right way. Come on, come on, come on. What else we got? We inspect. You can hop on the choo choo train, I suppose. It's a funny looking bridge, but um, I needed a bridge, and that was the best I could come up with under the circumstances. I didn't. I was trying to eliminate all the level crossings, so I don't get too much traffic congestion. These all come around here, this corner. And I'll join up to a junction that train. Well, if Jimmy gets here first, we'll probably go through to the station first. Hurry up, go, go, get my pit, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Bust, bust, bust. That's my two bite impersonation. Well, whisper around me. They're all 
soul made here. What a congregation. Who gets to go first? I saw him. I want to find out. I'll go out and have a look. Don't take off without us, that's all. Oh, I want to see which one goes first. They look confused now, don't they? Oh, they're waiting for that turkey way up there. Might be an idea if I did this. I'll show you a little trick. Now this is a cool trick you watch. I can put one signal here and now I'll space out at 400 meter intervals on that particular line. And while we're here, we'll do it to that one. Okay, that fellow there got the, got the jump. He got the jump. And we'll do it from this end as well. Got to make sure you go to the right side, otherwise it's going to be a little bit confusing for the little fellas. Now, we've got to see it. Yeah, it didn't mess up my lines, did it? When I'm redoing that. No, I don't know. They've got two lines that are not even being used. There's sort of two there that are a bit redundant. Is that because we don't have... Oh, no, that turned on. Can't see here that's underneath him. Yeah, that one's on. I wasn't sure if my slip rails were turned on. Ah, that one's not turned on. Now I'm not sure how big of an effect that will have on this. And that one's on. And we've got another one down here. Now let's see what that does. Does that t open up all those rails? May do, may but maybe not too. Nope. So we've got two redundant rails. Two redundant lights. Uh, no big deal. These seems to function right. Hmm. Well, that's it. And I'm Gordon Pilton. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Let's have a quick dive in here and see what... Uh, I've got some sort of special running on this store. No. Good. No, I don't know what... Out of the week, so there must be some sort of sale or something going on. I don't know. Yeah, so that's it. I will talk to you again. You have a great one, and I'm Gordon Pilter. Bye.